Don Lemon said Meghan Markle was speaking from a place of privilege when she said her relationship with Harry led to more focus on her race than before in her most recent Spotify podcast with Mariah Carey. The American former actress was the first mixed-race person to marry a senior British royal in centuries when she wed Harry in 2018. The Duchess, who quit as a senior working royal two years ago, sparked a royal crisis with her Oprah interview in 2021 when she accused an unnamed member of the royal family of making a racist comment about her son Archie's skin tone before he was born. Mr. Lemon said, in some ways, she's saying that she had privilege and so therefore it didn't apply to her because it never happened to her. Right? She was a mixed woman. People didn't really know how to react to her. They didn't know if she was black or white, but she didn't get the full black treatment because people weren't sure that she was, you know, black. I think most African Americans probably looked at her and said, oh, I know that's a black woman, but I think the larger culture may not have realized that. But, she is coming from is a place of privilege where she did not have to deal with racism until she married a white man. And she's got all this criticism and all this attention. Read more, Meghan Markle's South African security describes Archie Room Fire CNN's Don Lemon has hit out at Meghan Markle's shocking admission, image, CNN slash Getty, Meghan said her relationship with Harry led to more focus on her race, image, Getty, care more about Kate. US turns eye to Duchess of Cambridge as Meghan sparks outrage Meghan Markle has seemingly lost interest in the US after one insider claimed the media is more likely to feature the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Despite the fresh accusations from Meghan, it appears the US media is warming more towards Kate Middleton and Prince William. Read more here. And suddenly she understood or understands what it's like to be part of a group of people, especially women in this country or in Europe, who are discriminated against. So I think it was it was eye-opening for her. It's certainly real. Meghan's latest comments came the day after an interview with The Cut in which she suggested her children had been referred to by the N-word by the media. Discussing the royal rota. The long-established press system that covers official events involving the monarchy, Meghan said, Why would I give the very people that are calling my children the N-word a photo of my child before I can share it with the people that love my child? You tell me how that makes sense and then I'll play that game. 7 Revealing Quotes from Meghan Markle's The Cut Interview Express Co.uk has compiled a list of seven of the most revealing quotes from Meghan's 6,500-word bombshell interview with The Cut. She's allowed to talk, I've never had to sign anything that restricts me from talking. I can talk about my whole experience and make a choice not to. She also said, I'm, like, so excited to talk. She was told by a South African member of the Lion King live-action cast in 2019, when you married into this family, we rejoiced in the street the same we did when Mandela was freed from prison. Meghan is keen to get back on social media, do you want to know a secret? I'm getting back. On Instagram. Meghan is still viewed as a princess she says, I was conscious of the fact that there are little girls that I meet and they're just like, oh my god, it's a real life princess. On her relationship with Prince Harry, we're like salt and pepper. We always move together. On her relationship with the royal family, I think forgiveness is really important. It takes a lot more energy to not forgive. But it takes a lot of effort to forgive. I've really made an active effort, especially knowing that I can say anything. On Harry's relationship with Prince Charles, Harry said to me, I lost my dad in this process. It doesn't have to be the same for them as it was for me, but that's his decision. Chatting with singer Carrie in the Archetypes episode on Divas, they discussed their mixed race heritage, with the Duchess saying, it's very different because we're light-skinned. You're not treated as a black woman. You're not treated as a white woman. You sort of fit in between. 
I mean, if Terry's any time in my life that it's been more focused on my race, it's only once I started dating my husband. Then I started to understand what it was like to be treated like a black woman, because up until then I had been treated like a mixed woman and things really shifted. Don't miss Queen Health fears reignite as Charles paying highly unusual visits. Insight Megan needs an intervention after interview claims, video Megan in podcast Texi Laz famous faces not queuing up to be on it, analysis, trending Meghan Markle career timeline, image, express, Carrie added, but that's an interesting thing, a mixed woman, because I always thought it should be okay to say I'm mixed, like it should be okay to say that, but people want you to choose. Megan replies, yes. Carrie told Meghan about her childhood, saying, I didn't fit in, it would be more of the black area of town, or then you could be where my mom chose to live. The more white neighborhoods and I didn't fit in anywhere at all. Meghan replies, yeah. I understand that, 